in this video, I'm going to learn about difference in prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription and some other topics also, which is you know not all related to this topic, but we will be learning them together. A random topic. Sorry, that video. So difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription. A process by which the information stored in the DNA is transferred to an mRNA through the synthesis of RNA is known as transcription. In spite of the similar overall process of transcription in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, there exist a few fundamental differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription about which we will discuss in this article. The difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic transcription are given below. Prokaryotic transcription versus eukaryotic transcription. Forming a closed promoter complex, forming open promoter complex incorporates the first few nucleotides then promoter clearance then prokaryotic transcription will be taking place here chromosome is there intron portion and exon portion are there dna interrupted gene type of dna then transcription splicing splicing will be taking place precursor mrna splicing mrna is produced translation protein is formed eukaryotic transcription so this eukaryotic transcription we just learned many times with the set of this videos in this channel i hope you watch them if not just try to view them or it doesn't matter if it's from my channel or someone else just learn that portion carefully after that we'll be learning about the differences chromosomes in drawn one in drawn two exon exon two dna interrupted gene transcription splicing and translation here in case of prokaryotic transcription, forming a closed promoter complex, forming an open promoter complex, incorporating the few first few nucleotide promoter clearance, prokaryotic transcription. So prokaryotic versus eukaryotic transcription. Prokaryotic transcription, transcription and translation occur simultaneously. But in case of eukaryotic transcription, Transcription and translation doesn't occur simultaneously. In case of prokaryotic transcription, prokaryotic transcription occurs in the cytoplasm, but eukaryotic transcription occurs in the nucleus and translation occurs in the cytoplasm. RNAs are released and processed in the cytoplasm. RNAs are released and processed in the nucleus. RNA polymerase are a complex of 5 polypeptides, RNA polymerases are a complex of 5, 10 to 15 polypeptides. And these were a few differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription. While a few specific aspects of transcription differ between eukaryotes and prokaryotes, the basic chemistry behind the process is the same. Both employ RNA polymerase as a catalyst to induce the synthesis of RNA and while the regulation of may differ and the end product of transcription is prokaryotes and eukaryotes is RNA. While a few specific aspects of transcription differ between eukaryotic and prokaryotes, the basic chemistry behind the process is the same. Both employ RNA polymerase as a catalyst to induce the synthesis of RNA. While the regulation may differ, the end product of transcription in prokaryotes and eukaryotes is RNA. Next is about promoter, enhancer and silencer sites. Promoter, Pribno, Tata, CAAT and DC box. Enhancer and silencer sites. The Tata box, also called the Goldberg Hognes box. Goldberg Hognes box. Gold Berg Hognes box is a sequence of DNA found in the core promoter region of genes in archaea and eukaryotes. The bacterial homologue of Tata box is called the Padino box, which has a shorter consensus sequence. The bacterial homologue of the Tata box is called the Padibno box. Pribno. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but I'll be reading it as Pribno. Pardon me for that. Pribnow box, which has a shorter consensus sequence. The differencing, differentiating factor between Tata and CAAT box lies in its consensus sequence. While the Tata box are conserved nucleotide areas, 
Kosasinga consensus sequence of Tata W W. I'm sorry, W A W. The C A A T box is conserved in nucleotide area, having a consensus sequence of G G C C A T C T, like this. Once again, I will be reading this. The Tata box, also called the Goldberg Hognes box, is a sequence of DNA found in the core promoter region of genes in archaea and eukaryotes. The bacterial homologue of Tata box is called the Pribno box, which has a shorter consensus sequence. The differentiating factor between Tata and CAT box lies in its consensus sequence. While the Tata box are conserved in nucleotide areas, possessing a consensus sequence of Tata WAW, the CAT box is a conserved in nucleotide area having a consensus sequence of given like this. Tata box or Goldberg Hognes box. Goldberg Hognes box. Tata box and molecular biology are DNA sequences seen in the core promoter areas of genes in the eukaryotes and archaea. Pribnau box is the bacterial homologue of the Tata box that has a shorter consensus sequence. Pribnau box is the bacterial homologue of the Tata box that has a shorter consensus sequence. And it is deemed to be a non-coding sequence of DNA. Non-coding, don't forget that. It was called so as it contains a consensus sequence distinguished by recurring T and A base pairs. The Tata box binding proteins. function as a part of the TF2D, the huge transcription factor which initiates the transcription process. Once it associates with the promoter, it assigns the extra transcription factors and a string of them to associate. This leads to the construction of a huge protein complex which determines to start the transcription or not. GC box also known as GSG box. GC box is a distinct pattern of nucleotides found in the promoter region of some eukaryotic genes. The GC box is upstream of the Tata box and approximately 110 bases upstream from the transcription initiation site. It has a consensus sequence GGG CGGG, which is a position dependent and orientation dependent. The GC elements are bound by transcription factors and have similar functions to enhancers. Some known GC factor box binding proteins include sp1 k rox egr williams tumor migi and crea the gc box is commonly the binding site for single finger protein an alpha helix section of the protein corresponds with the major groove in the dna zinc fingers bind it to triplet base pair sequences which with residues to Binding to the first base pair, residue 18 binding to the second base pair and residue 15 binding to the third base pair. The triplet base pairs can either be a GGG or GCG. If residue 18 is a histidine, it will bind to G and if residue 18 is glutamate, it will bind to a C. GC box binding zinc fingers have between 2 and 4 fingers making them interact with the base pair sequences that are 6 to 8 base pairs in length. Then CAAT box. CAAT box in molecular biology refers to a separate pattern of nucleotides like given like this. Consensus sequence occurring upstream by the 16 to 100 bases to the initial transcription region. It alters, alerts the binding site for the RNA transcription factor and is usually tagged by a conserved consensus sequence. The CAT box with the GC box is known to bind normal transcription factors, both of which belong to the regulatory promoter. Complete expression of gene takes place when the transcription activator proteins associate with each module in the regulatory promoter. In order for the CCAAT box to get activated, the protein-specific association is essential. The proteins are called CCAAT box binding proteins. Key differences between Tata and CAAT box. The table below depicts the difference between Tata and CAAT box. Listen to this carefully. Tata box I will be learning. 
there are conserved nucleotide areas seen in close to 25 to 30 base pair upstream to the site of transcription initiation. But CAT box, these are conserved nucleotide areas seen at, at close to 75 to 80 base pairs upstream to the site of transcription initiation. So, what is its consensus sequence? Consensus sequence is given, consensus sequence, other one is given, their occurrence seen in core promoter areas of transcription initiation sites but seen at 75 to 80 base upstream of the transcription initiation site what is its occurrence reoccurring base pair a and t base pairs tata box but a c and t base pairs role renders binding site for transcription factors and tbp and is involved in the transcription regulation Next, send signals to the binding site for RNA transcription factor. Then enhances and silences. Assists the regulatory sequence that increases the activity of a gene when bound by transcription factor is called an enhancer. While a sequence that causes a decrease in gene activity is called a silencer. Enhancers have the ability to greatly increase the expression of genes in their vicinity. More recently, elements have been identified that decrease transcription of neighboring genes and these elements have been called silences. So groups of transcription factor binding sites called enhancers and silences can turn a gene on or off in specific parts of the body. Transcription factors allow cells to form logic operations and combine different sources of information to decide whether to express a gene. Once again let's learn this enhancer and silencer portion. Assists the regulatory sequence that increases the activity of a gene when bound by transcription factors is called an enhancer, while a sequence that causes a decrease in gene activity is called a silencer. Enhancers, enhancers have the ability to greatly increase the expression of genes in their vicinity. More recently, elements have been identified that decrease transcription of neighboring genes, and these elements have been called silencers. So groups of transcription factor binding sites called enhancers and silencers can turn a gene on or off in specific parts of the body. Transcription factors allow cells to perform logic operations and combine different sources of information to decide whether to express a gene.